Hi Libra, this is Crystal Rose with Comfy Soul and I'm here to do your reading. So I'm going to start with the Tarot of Sexual Magic, hence the Not Safe for Work warning. And I'm going to finish with the Archetype Deck by Carolyn Mace. With this card, I'm going to look at the light attributes and the shadow attributes so we can see if you are moving forward correctly or if you are in your shadow work and you need to work on something or learn something. So you'll be able to discern that for yourself if you're moving in the right direction or not based on what I tell you. And I'll do the same thing for people, person, or situations on the other side opposite of you. Um, I feel the need to say or teach that whatever is on the other side of this story, situation, whatever, is meant for you as a, a mirror. We can't look at ourselves without seeing it through something else or someone else. Whether you're looking in the mirror or getting it fed back to you from someone else or a work situation or the universe will show you what needs to be worked on based on what's going on around you, okay? All right, so let me see here. First off, Queen of Swords. Second, Ten of Swords, ouch. And third, the Fool. Okay, I'm gonna pause there for a moment. Let's discuss this. Seems like you've learned a lesson. Somebody cut you out. This person, Queen of Swords, probably a feminine, but it doesn't necessarily have to be a, a female energy. It can be um, just somebody who is loving themselves from their feminine aspect that is finally saying no more not doing this okay so this left you in a place where you were really sad you were very upset about this i think you weren't expecting to get that you weren't expecting to hear what they had to say but somehow, some way, it's causing you to go through some healing and move forward. Boom, the full card. You're willing to pick up and go and move on and do the adventure even though you don't seemingly know what you're doing. Okay, let's keep going. What else is going on here? All right. Okay, so now let me look at this again while I'm shuffling. If you're the Queen of Swords, you're the one who had a truth spoken to you or you're speaking a truth. Still left you sad. But you have the truth now. You can clearly communicate now. That is the bonus. That's why you're able to move forward. Okay, now I understand. Let's keep going. Speaking honestly. Already coming through the healing. Once you hit rock bottom, there becomes a point where you can just finally let go and move forward right so i feel like this is one of those rock bottom communication energies and now you have to move forward because there's you already hit bottom two of pentacles so i you see you approaching somebody trying to work with them trying to understand where they're coming from and meet them there in that place i get that i understand what else Ace of Swords. So now that you're speaking up, what is the result of you speaking up more? Forward movement. It looks like you're, you're choosing a direction. So I feel like you were tied up in different directions before, didn't know where to put your energy, and that was holding you back from being able to be um, emotionally and mentally available to whatever situation that you were engaged in so let's keep going yes you definitely had to choose am I gonna be this guy or that guy am I gonna go with this person or that person am I going to uh, just basically deciding who you are it feels like okay let's keep going that was a lover's card by the way let me look at the person or situation on the other side um, the song that's on now is I want to dance with somebody who loves me Whitney Houston Don't you want to dance with me dance with somebody who loves me? So 
So this is looking for genuine romance. I feel like you might have been playing around or just not getting the true deep connection that you wanted from even the person you were with. But it's kind of like you weren't speaking the right way with them, to them. A, a new truth occurred to you. Let's put it that way. Actually, let me ask. What is this truth that occurred to you? Ooh, painful losses. Pain, just loss, heartache. It finally hurt you. You finally got hurt to the point where you realize, okay, I have to be a different person. I have to go about this a different way. Okay, let me look at the other side. Bill Withers, lean on me. Sometimes in our lives, we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. So this person's like, look, did you get it? Now can you lean on me? Can we be cool? All right, let's keep going. Three of Cups. Now we're moving in the right direction. It's a celebration, bitches. And you're actually getting some. Look at that. Look at that. So if this is a romantic situation, you are getting your way back in. If this is a work situation, you are going to find a way that is more fun, celebratory, more. You're going to get a reward as a result of being a better, different person. All right, what else? They're willing to work with you? Whether this is a job or a person, I really feel this is a person waiting for you on the other side. That's just been waiting for you to start being more real. Not scattered energy. Okay, what else about the other thing on the other side that is headed your way or that you are working towards? Knight of Pentacles, hey now, hey. We have a nice healthy beginning of an adventure involving somebody who is working with you on um, finances and honoring you and honoring how you make money together and how you live. They're making an offer towards you. They're making, you're getting a rewards from the universe and or this person or people for going about things a different way. What else is coming to you? This is financial. It's safety, security, and passion, adventure, and fun. Yay, the eight of wands. Things are moving fast. So it seems like all the time and energy you might have spent being one kind of person uh, was a waste of time. <laughs> or at least a really good lesson. It's something that was way more exhausting for you to hang on to, whatever pain you had, than to let go and, and like light bulb moment, move forward. So that you could um, attract romance and money and things in a totally different way. Yes. Okay. So, so this other person wants you to make it right with them. They're waiting for you to tell them you are all in. They're waiting for you to act like you give a shit and... Life isn't all about money, but you, you'd feel secure. They want to know that you feel secure. That's something that's important to them. Um, nobody wants to drag a broken inner child around. We already have our own. We, want to, we don't want to drag somebody else's baggage around too, right? Um, but this person was willing to do that, but they do want you to share love, passion, be with them, give them justice, balance the scales, treat them right, but treat them... Like you give a shit, be romantic, be playful, be uh, cooperatively working together on a forward focused adventure. Okay, one more for the other person and then I'm going to grab your archetype. What do we got? Eight of Pentacles. Whoop, whoop. So here you are just starting to make an offer and they're not ready to accept it yet or they haven't hurly, they haven't seen you consistent enough to accept this. So there they are with their back turned to you and making a romantic offer because they got so sick of constantly being romantically available to you and then you not being all in. So now they need you to show them. Show them. They're, they're still there. They're not completely ignoring you. They're drinking their tea or whatever, but they're not hating on you, but they need you to keep making the effort. One more. And then archetype cards. Yeah, that's the shadow work. There's the moon card. 
They're waiting to see if you're going to be consistent, if you're going to get it right this time, if you're going to be a real person who communicates and doesn't hide. Uh, uh, they really, they do want this though. All right, let's get you some archetype cards. <laughs> Denise Williams, let's hear it for the boy just came on. My baby, he don't talk sweet. He ain't got much to say. See? But he loves me, loves me, loves me. I know he loves me anyway. And maybe he don't dress fine, but I don't really mind. Because every time... Oh, oh, God, I just had three cards. Whoo! All right, I'm going to take them because they vibe. They so vibe. Damn. Okay, let me go back to this. Because every time he pulls me near, I just want to cheer. Let's hear it for the boy. All right. This person's been in your corner fully. You thought they'd always be there and took, took it for granted. Let's put it that way. So now that you have a different perspective, you can be in one of two ways. I got the monk and nun card for you guys. So um, in the positive... It's going to have the light attribute, which says selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to spirit. This is someone who's focused on spirit. How close can I get to God? This is someone who's learning the lesson and really seeing what matters in the world, right? The shadow attribute, if you're not focused on the right thing yet, if you haven't moved forward in the right direction, says negative judgment of physical world and excess piety. So this is someone who's way too focused on the material and focused on how people perceive them. You shouldn't, you don't have a problem wondering how people perceive you if you're just being the best version of you. Then you don't care how people perceive you because if someone doesn't see you right, it's obviously their problem, not yours, because you're doing everything right or as right as you possibly can. You know, you're not intentionally being sneaky or malicious or doing something negative. So if you stop doing that, then you're on the right track to really seeing things from a spiritual perspective. Okay. This was a lot on the other side. And I'm going to focus on, I'm going to focus on the positives. Actually, no, I'm going to highlight all of it because I want you to see how the other person reacted to you initially and how they're going to react to you now, okay? So, I got the addict. This is drugs, sex, money, gambling, whatever. Bad habits that are like in excess. Um, addict. So if they're in their light attribute, they help you recognize and confront addictive behavior. And I really feel that's what this person was doing, was showing you what needed to be, how you could lighten up, how the world is in your favor, but you're not seeing it, right? The shadow attribute is they would be compromising their integrity and honesty and allowing an addictive pattern to have authority over their own inner spirit. So... If they weren't being themselves, they allowed you to overtake them, to overrule them, to do whatever you were doing, and they just sat there and they took it, right? Okay, vampire. Light attribute is makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So they were able to show you when you or they or people around you were tugging on your energy in a negative way, using you for something. They were able to show you that. In their shadow... They are codependent on you, fighting for survival, depleting others for your psychic survival, chronic complaining, and or codependency. So if they were negative, they were complaining, 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 co totally codependent on you, draining you, sucking your energy. But I really feel like you're both working towards your, your positive aspects. So this person was trying to help you grow the entire time. They saw your potential. They knew who you were right off the bat. Even if you weren't at that full 100% capacity of being that person, they still saw you. Femme Fatale, light attribute, highlights the erotic energy of the feminine. Open your heart when your dependency is rejected. So is still seductive, is still sexy, is still shining and showing, showing up, right? Their shadow attribute is they would inappropriately be using their sensuality to attach to money or power. So this is someone who's hanging on to you um, to be taken care of, like a sugar daddy situation or something, right? 
Um, I really feel like this person tried to woo you constantly, always tried to be there for you and help you be a better person that wasn't tugging on their energy. Um, one more card fell out. I'm going to use this as... <laughs> I'm going to use this as the situation moving forward. Focus on the light aspect between the two of you. I'm laughing because Jackie Wilson, your love keeps lifting me higher and higher. It just came on. I said your love keeps on lifting me higher and higher. Listen now, once I was downhearted. Disappointment was my closest friend. But then you came and it soon departed. And you know he never showed his face again. So this person kept you in your light. But... You didn't step all the way up. You you made them drag you through it. Okay? All right. The healer. I like this. How beautiful to have a healing energy between you and this other party. Fucking awesome. All right. Uh, passion to serve others by repairing the body, mind, and spirit. The ability to help transform pain into healing. That's beautiful. So the shadow attribute, if neither one of you healed, you're going to see this. Taking advantage of those who need help, failing to care for oneself. So, even if somebody's in a position you still wanted to take from them because you were worried about taking care of you and not taking care of yourself. So, there you have it. There's your stuff. You can jump in and do what you got to do with that. Please leave a comment if this resonates. If uh, you'd like to buy the cards or... Um, get a personal reading, you can go to ComfySoul.com. I thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and I'll see you guys next time. Okay.